This is a show where we just get right down to business. There's no time for any offbeat shenanigans no, or off-topic conversations. We just want to get right to it. And that's pretty much been our mantra for about 10 years. For now. 10 years now, yeah. Quickly, quickly approaching our 10th anniversary here in a little bit. Yeah, thank you. I'm told that I'm a very excellent singer, so... Um, that's not oh, the first time I've <laughs> Pump the brakes there a little bit. Let's, let's, you know? <laughs> let's reel it in a little bit. But 2017 is the be- where the battle lines are going to be drawn. Flow Sports is in the game now. It is another level of hate and trolling that is really a reflection of our society as a whole. Now we're getting oh, big. Getting big big, big picture. Deep. Now we're talking Big dog, society. big picture. Right, I'm rubbing, big I'm rubbing dog, my big chin. Picture. I'm rubbing my chin. Big Dave, big dog, big picture Absolutely. here. Tea. Oh, come on with the tea, huh? What are you? Come on. You can't be drinking. Get, 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 at least, I swear I'm drinking tea right now. At yeah. least tell me it's beer. I have a beer next to it. Oh, oh, so you're gonna, are you going to chase the tea with the beer? <laughs> I switch off. I go between when I'm a little chilly. It's cold here in Chicago, so I got Hold on a second. For... So you're alternating between tea and yeah. beer. That's absurd. The Beyonce song, Single Ladies, might be the worst piece of music ever recorded in human history. There was some finger work, which was interesting in this match. At one you point. always like a good finger work. I know you. I, that sounded very odd. <laughs> have you ever had a tongue in your butt? I have never had a tongue Rich, in my butt. Rich, you're missing no. out, my friend. Once it, well, if you ever happen to experience that, you'll never go back. Okay? Your matches stink, and your moonwalking stinks. What do you want from me? I was so sad I couldn't get off my phone. Then Shibata says, have you washed your badge, chappin' chappin'? Okay. The girl replies, I've washed my badge, chappin, chappin. Then the girl says, I want to do chappin with you right now. And then Shibata says, same here. And then the girl says, I want to fuck. And then Shibata comes back with chappin fucking. That's a tremendous <laughs> conversation. I have no doubt you'll please me quite well. I like being a little rough with your mouth. And she says, how so? Like, if you're going down on me, what I describe, slow and deep and kind of rough, so my dick chokes you a little. And she says, sounds hot. I think I'm close. I'm going to see your vag. I have not seen it since I came here. Your vag was kind of wedding. Smiley face. Wedding. Wedding. Girl, because your gaze turns me on. Smiley face. Girl, I'm in my period now, so I can't send mine. Frowny face. Shibata, too bad to hear that, but I understand your situation. This is the, oh, this the worst show we've ever done, by the way. This is a terrible show. I'm pacing. I'm standing up. I'm sweating. <laughs> sweating. I am. Well, calm down. Take a deep breath, sir. Get, get, a, get a sip of, uh, what, what are you drinking today? Diet Dr. Pepper or what? Uh, what do you think I'm drinking? I'm drinking the Coke Zero. Zero calories. Coke Zero, right. Very it's delicious. Right, right. Every serious girlfriend I've had at some point. Are you kidding? You Jersey. Well, you guys do it weird I would there, say that at some point, you. every serious girlfriend I've had has said, let's measure your day. Dove Pro is the 3.30 a.m. Tinder match of pro wrestling. Like, yes, and, and he does stupid things, and, and, and he does and he's, he's, he can lose to anyone, and he can beat anyone. And I think that's why his matches are so dramatic. And the reason he sucks you in is because he, he you know, you, you can relate to you, you can relate to him. He, he shows fight, and he shows guts, and you, and you know that you, this guy's not going to go down unless his opponent kills him you gotta step on this guy's throat you gotta rip his heart out of his chest before you beat this guy and that's why his matches are so good because you have to respect that and that's the kind of pro wrestler that i like rich that's what i get into i get into it a guy who goes out there and shows heart and shows fight and you don't necessarily not necessarily the best but he's gonna work harder than anybody he's in there with and he's gonna he's gonna bust his ass to go out there he's gonna do everything he can do VOW again you can try it 100 nights risk free in your own home and Joe is flushing a toilet in the background I uh I unmuted the mic a little early there so <laughs> you have the longest I, have you get that thing fixed man I, I'll never forget your mother said I needed a new ball cock and I lost it. yes yes right she sent me an Amazon link for she it. said Joe Lanza needs a new ball cock <laughs> and I like you know that's just I I mean how is that not hilarious I mean I got it's I got Creech's good, mother yeah. telling me I need a ball cock you know it doesn't it doesn't get any better than just, that. It, I explained you know, I was like I'm sorry I was taking off my pants and that really threw you off um, but I have to break it to you I, I normally record this show pantsless 
I'm on fire, Rich. You were on fire uh, are, before, this- and I'm on fire now. So are you ready for Roadblock End of the Line? Roadblock End of the Line. 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 Roadblock End of the Line seems to have some buzz. A lot of buzz for Roadblock End of the Line. This Tanahashi, Rich. He's something else. He's fucking amazing. He's pretty good. This guy's pretty good. This Tanahashi's pretty good. Could be a star someday. Who the fuck delivers better than this guy in a big spot? Give me the name. Don't yell at me. <laughs> Give me a name. I like him. Who delivers I, I, better than this guy in a big spot? Joe, don't yell at me. I like in, him. In the big spot, who delivers better than this guy? <laughs> Stop yelling at me. I agree. I'm with you. Give me the name. Rich, how do you have six matches with a guy, all of the match of the year contenders, a couple of them five stars and a lot of smart people's opinions, including this smart guy, and then over deliver. How do you do that? <laughs> Go next level, yeah. How do you over deliver on this match? And Rich, how do you have a match this good that had to follow what happened before it? Look what they followed. Look what these motherfuckers followed. And they nearly topped it. In yeah. my opinion, they did top it. They nearly fucking tie. And look what they had. To, they had to follow one of the best matches of all time. And they did it. It's inhuman. It's inconceivable to me that they followed that and fucking nearly topped it. Oh, God. It was so good. Hey, oh, God. It's just so good. Oh, I'm all fired up. Take, just just to say go. something. I got to stop talking right now. <laughs> <laughs> but there was another part that I highlighted too. The drama in the Urban Wrestling Federation finds hip hop rapper street bosses pitting their goons and thugs against each other in an attempt to not only one up one another for that championship belt bragging rights, but to get that good old fashioned paper dash dash cash money. Oh, well, listen, if that like the whitest man ever wrote this press release, which is the greatest thing ever. Like he had buzzwords and he asked his children, like, "What do you like the rappers say?" And then came up with this press release, which is fantastic. And Rich, so. the second whitest man ever, is going to review it next week. What does he bring to the table? Someone tell me what he brings to the table. <laughs> I don't know. Anymore. The fans don't like him. His matches stink. He, he grinds every show to a halt. I had enough of Timothy Thatcher. I wish he'd go back to his, whatever he does, an accountant. Go fucking account something and go away. I, I won't. Get your abacus out and fucking count shit. I, I and don't stop think he's wrestling. Account. I get things done in the bedroom, Rich. I, my work rate in the bedroom <laughs> is through the roof. I am a hard listen. I am the I am the Ric Flair of uh, who who like I am the Kenta Kobashi of sex. Right? My work rate is phenomenal. God. Okay, that, God. I got high spots. There are no rest holds when you're with a Joel Lanza. Okay, Joel Lanza will not bore a woman with rest holds. I am nothing but high spots, baby. It is when you're with a Joel Lanza. <laughs> now I'm standing up. Listen. When I'm done doing what I got to do, people are sweaty, people's legs are weary, they have trouble walking. It's a, and that's me included. This is horrifying. That's me this included. Is... I am a mess when I because I listen. I work hard. I work hard. I work real hard, Rich. The work rate's up. I'm gonna sit back down now. You got more questions? No, I think that's it. Many times I did not think this was gonna happen, and I still don't know if it's gonna happen as we say this right now. Yeah, I don't know if anybody's gonna hear this, so we could just say whatever the <laughs> fuck we want. I mean, you know. We don't have to be our usual professional selves. We could just uh, talk about whatever we feel like talking about because uh, nobody might end up hearing this. Right. So we can do whatever we want. Like, hour three is now hour one. Uh, female fake taxi. We'll get Star Kid 91 in. Uh, what else do we have? Action Zone, that Action Zone tag. Uh, we have a giant list of like, one of these days we will do that show where it's like, we one day for some, I mean, this is like the, one of the lightest weeks we've had in, in, in quite a while, but there will be one week where there is literally nothing to talk about. And we will just go over everything that we haven't talked about for the last three years. So, the Urban Wrestling Review. 